everything your partner does is an offer and being in the space of just being present and being receptive and open to your partner's offer. I move through the world. What are the ways, how can I say yes to people? How can I look for ways to say yes? What's up Culture Drop, Galen here. This video is about yes and. The improv concept of yes and and how that can apply to you, what it means in terms of culture, you individually, how you show up as a human being, etc. For those of you that are unfamiliar, yes and is the sort of meat and potatoes, it's the core kind of concept philosophy behind improv, which I have a background in. So I wanna talk a little bit about what that means for improvisers and talk about what that means for you. So yes and for us is about, as an improviser, what we say is that everything you do and everything that your partner does is considered an offer. And your job as an improviser is to say yes and accept your partner's offer and then add more information onto it. So for example, if I'm on stage with somebody else doing an improv scene and that person says to me, like strap Bang, Captain, uh, we gotta launch off this planet or those aliens are gonna come back. I know immediately their offer is that we're, I'm in a spaceship, that I'm the captain, that we're on some sort of planet that we've gotta go. So like that is their offer to me. And my job as an improviser is to immediately accept that, to be like, yes, I'm a captain. Yes, we're in a spaceship. Yes, we need to launch off this planet. Yes, there's some aliens that are obviously bad that are coming back, etc. That's how kind of improv works. So that yes and philosophy and the idea that everything your partner does is an offer and being in the space of just being present and being receptive and open to your partner's offer is kind of how improv works and how like the magic of it is created. And that concept of yes and is something that for you as a human being, as a leader, as part of a team, as a culture inside an organization is something that you can adopt and use to greatly improve like dynamics, interpersonal dynamics between people, communication, how you respond and react to other people, as well as like how people show up together in a team in terms of culture. And in a lot of the work that I do with teams and organizations in terms of developing skills and working with teams to like embrace that philosophy, there's kind of a handful of tenants that go along with that, the kind of core tenants or skills of improv, which are say yes, listen and be present, make other people look good, embracing change and failure, and being positive. Focusing specifically on this idea of saying yes and being in kind of a yes and mindset and mentality. And to speak to that, one thing I wanna say is that it's not about saying yes to everything in the world. That is not what saying yes is about. It's really just a mindset and a mentality of being open and receptive to other people's ideas and contributions and also looking for ways to say yes when we can. It is not realistic, especially in business, to say yes to every single idea and everything that comes our way. That's not possible. But saying yes is just being in the mindset of seeing everything that you do as a leader, as a coworker, as an employee, as a customer, as an offer. And so like that mindset for me in, in talking about like how you show up through the world is to be like every that you are presenting or coming to me with is an offer. And for my mindset as a response to that is to always be kind of in that mindset of, of yes hand, of seeing you have feedback for me, like that's an offer. How do I respond to that? And being in a space of like sort of accepting what's there and building onto it is kind of that yes hand piece. And there's obviously a lot of nuance and, and deeper dive to this conversation, but I think at a surface level even, this is a super valuable way to sort of show up in your world and show up in your life to see how you you know, respond and interact with other people um, of just like applying and sort of like being in this mindset of saying yes and having that yes and mindset. When people, individuals, or when teams move through the world in that kind of like operating mode, it results in people feeling free to like share ideas, people responding to ideas better, more creativity, where I think about not like everything that won't work about that idea, but like what could work when we're looking for ways to say yes when we can to customers, to each other, et cetera. So I think that's just something useful and helpful and positive to reflect on and think about as I move through the world, what are the ways, how can I say yes to people? How can I look for ways to say yes or see things through a lens of possibility. Also for this video, for this blog, I wanna share a resource with you, something that, that I created that's called the Yes and Manifesto. And it kind of what it does is outline each of those five tenets that I talked about um, of saying yes, listening and being present, making other people look good, embracing change and failure and being positive in terms of what do those look like in, in terms of behaviors and how can you like adopt that philosophy for how you move through the world. So I'm gonna make that uh, available as sort of a free download uh, with the link to the blog and like have that be something you can grab, it's useful. I think that's something that you can think about as a personal philosophy and mode of operating for you, for your team in terms of building culture, et cetera. So uh, cool, just a refresher on that topic. I think it's really, really powerful. When I started doing improv and sort of seeing the world through the lens of people making offers and, and being receptive and like looking for ways to say yes, it really, really shifted how I viewed every interaction and how I viewed interactions between other people um, from like a completely different perspective. So that's just a little touch on yes and what that looks like uh, and a resource for you to check that out for yourself. So uh, cool, go be awesome. Uh, the, no, hold on, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna back up. <laughs>
Thanks for watching and tuning in. Subscribe to our channel. We put a lot of content on here. You can also subscribe to the Culture Drop mailing list and get these emails in your inbox every Tuesday morning. Follow our social media channels. Uh, put a lot of free content out about just being more awesome and building great teams.